Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Stephanie Malloy. I'm the Director of PR and Marketing here at the University of Northwestern Ohio. I want to thank all of you for coming in today. Uh, to start things off, I'd like to welcome up Chris Adams, the Athletic Director at UNOH, to make today's announcement. Thank you, Stephanie. Okay, I know it's not a big surprise because it's sort of leaked out here in this day and age of uh, social media and so forth, but uh, I'm here to announce my uh, resignation of the posi position of head men's basketball coach here at the college. Um, one of the reasons is is because I feel it's very pertinent that uh, I changed my focus a little bit and, and really tried to send my attention uh, in the direction of being the athletic director here. Yeah, the timing of it is, is very good uh, for me. to. My wife is going to retire as well as, as a 36-year teacher at Elida. And, uh, you know, the, the, as, to move, as we move into the second phase of our life, so to speak, I just thought the timing uh, was good. And, uh, you know, just the opportunity that I had, though, I, I, I can't thank Dr. Jarvis and the Board of Trustees here at the college enough for allowing me the opportunity to be a college coach because it was a dream back in 1985 after I attained my master's degree that someday I could become a, a college coach. And then uh, by luck, uh, Dr. Jarvis decided to start sports here at the college and I was able and fortunate enough to be named the head men's basketball coach here. And that was 10 years ago and it's been a very good 10 years, a very, a very much of a learning experience for me in, 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 as I look at the totality of my college coaching career and, and the high school career mixed in. So I can't say th thank you enough for that, Dr. Jarvis, and the opportunity here. Coaching has been a huge part of my life for 37 years, and many of you sitting in this room are longtime friends and have known me a long time. But uh, I'm going to miss the challenges of molding a team, getting a team ready, uh, challenging them to see uh, how far they could go, and pushing them to maybe their limit each and every year. I'm going to miss that. I'll miss the uh, competitive juices that flow on game day. Uh, you know, that, that's something that, that, that is an inherent thing that going way back. Some people uh, uh, maybe, maybe have more than others. I, I felt like I always got excited to ride the school bus to go to the next game or have a home game, at, at, whether I'm talking about Springfield Catholic, Elida High School, or University of Northwestern Ohio. And, uh, and that's a lot of bus rides in those 37 years, but I wouldn't trade them for anything. And, uh, you know, it, it's just one of those experiences that will always stay with you. And I'm going to miss that when I hear the basketball bounces this September uh, coming up a little bit. Uh, but, but, you know, we'll deal with that because of the responsibility that's also needed here at the university with the athletic director position. Um, I'd like to thank all the present and past basketball players here at the college and my assistant coaches. Um, as I reflected back, uh, right now we're a little bit established and the young guys sitting over here to my left, uh, they've been around here when we were established a little bit, but way back in the day of 207 and, and, and 20, let's see, 2007 and eight, our first year, I mean, those players and the coaches that came with us at the time used a leap of faith to try to believe in something that, that they thought was a good cause, but it, it was, they weren't sure that it was. Um, I was unproven as a college coach. Um, we, we weren't sure exactly what our direction, what league we were going to be in in 2006 and 7. So they, they really think, and I, I don't want to leave this position and not thank those people who stayed with us during those uh, fledgling years, so to speak, at the college, because their dedication has enabled us to be where we're at today as a, as a men's basketball program. And so I want to thank all the people and their efforts for that as well. Uh, the future of the men's basketball program here at the college is very bright. I, I ha I, I'm looking forward uh, uh, to providing the necessary essentials for the continuation of our program here. And uh, that segues me into announcing our new men's basketball coach here, a young man named Caleb Williams. Uh, came to us this year as an assistant, highly recommended uh, for the job that he did at the University of Finley's basketball program as a GA. Uh, the, both coaches up there, uh, Dan Shardo and, and um, Coach Ernst, called me and, and could not say enough good things about this young man. And so I, I immediately interviewed him when the position was open and they were exactly right. Uh, their instincts and, and, and their experience with him, they were right on, and I can't say enough good things about the work ethic that he shows. Caleb Williams is, is one of those guys that, ha that, that really came to the forefront for Dr. Jarvis and I uh, during the interview process because he's a Northwest Ohio guy, 
We, we really like that in him, and, and he's very loyal to our area, understands our area, has the ability to recruit our area, which is very important to us. And he's had a very positive high school experience, and, a very, and he played in, in, and received honors in a very a well-respected league in our area, in the MAC. Then he went on and play, had a very good college career at Mount Vernon Nazarene, which is a very established uh, NAI institution, uh, lo long time uh, and very good basketball program that he played and, and they have a new gym down there and he was able to be a part of the whole thing. And, and I, I, I really respected the job that he did as I even coached against him here at the college whenever we played uh, Mount Vernon Nazarene. So that takes us to now he decides he wants to be a, a, a college basketball coach and he gets his GA from Finley and we followed and cl closely uh, stayed with his career and, and, and that's what allowed allowed us to hire him and allowed us to move have him move on into that position uh, you're looking at a young man that has a tremendous work ethic uh, a, a very uh, uh, nice innate ability to be organized on a day in day out basis which I think is a characteristic uh, of any uh, coach at any level but he does it to the utmost and it has proven himself in there and I don't want to put words into the current players uh, that we have in the program right now but but the, I think they would all agree that his, his energy, effort, and work ethic is second to none uh, uh, compared to the other people at our level and, and what, what they perceive is to be a good assistant coach. So all that being said, uh, I'm going to turn the microphone over to him. Let's give Caleb Williams a nice warm welcome. Thank you. Uh, I want to start with some thank yous myself. Uh, I want to thank President Jarvis um, and the Board of Trustees, Coach Adams. I'm going to still call you Coach if that's all right. Um, for giving me the opportunity to lead the University of Northwestern Ohio men's basketball program. Uh, I want to thank the good Lord for this incredible blessing and give me the platform to help serve and add value to the lives of the young men who walk through these doors. Uh, I want to thank my parents who are here today. Uh, for all the love and support they've provided me. I am the man who I am now because of them and everything they've afforded me. Uh, my brothers are a huge part of my life. One of them here, Seth's here. Um, they're also a huge part of who I am and supporting me in this journey. Uh, many, many extended family members, uh, my grandma and grandpa, who would be here today, but they're down enjoying the sun in Florida. Uh, but they came and watched many games this year from those seats. Uh, aunts, uncles, and then friends. Uh, a good friend of mine, Matt Angel, is here supporting me today. Um, so, so many of those people have helped me in this journey. Um, and then I got to thank all the coaches who I've played for, coached with, teammates, mentors, uh, players I've been able to coach, all have taught me the lessons that have allowed me to become the coach I am today. Um, it's just interesting how, you know, this whole thing happens. Uh, my first college game I ever played was in this gym. My first field goal attempt I ever took in college was on that left baseline and it hit the side of that backboard up there. So hopefully my first game coached in here goes a little bit better than that first shot. Um, but, but like Coach said, you know, the great state of Ohio is the only home I know. It's, been my, it's where I've lived my whole life. The people of Northwestern Ohio have given me so much. Um, I'm extremely blessed to be able to represent this area and this university as its head men's basketball coach and works alongside all of our great faculty and staff who work tire tirelessly to serve this community, uh, which means a whole lot to me. So to able to walk alongside the university in my role is very important to me. Um, it's a great deal of responsibility to lead young men and, uh, and into this new chapter. Um, you know, Coach Adams wrote the book, and now I'm just adding a chapter and trying to build upon the foundation um, that he built here uh, and very excited to take what he did and take us to uh, a hopefully new heights. And uh, I look forward to the challenges ahead. Uh, there will be many, but those challenges will only help us become better as a program. And uh, I'm excited to see how our, our young men react to those challenges. Uh, this program will be defined by a daily devotion to competitive excellence. And we will define that as a daily pursuit of excellent effort and the execution driven by the competitive spirit to improve daily. Daily improvement will be our motto. In our program, we will recognize that small gains lead to large successes. Uh, we will compete for daily improvement on the court, in the classroom, in the weight room, and any other place that they allow us to compete. I'm grateful for so many of our current players who are here today. Uh, they've demonstrated their support over the last 24 hours, many texts, handshakes, it's very much appreciated. Um, and I'm very excited about the qualities and talents they possess as we embark on this new, new chapter together. 
I want to thank all of you who have attended today. Uh, the University of Northwestern Ohio has, has uh, been so welcoming to me. And with your support, I look forward to continuing to help connect our basketball program to the Lima and the Northwest Ohio community. Go Racers. Thank you, Caleb, and congratulations on your new position. Uh, Dr. Jarvis, would you like to say a few closing remarks? Good morning, everyone. A um, little shock a week ago when Chris came to me and, uh, and wanted to make this move. Ten years ago, uh, when, I brought Chris, when I brought athletics back, the board allowed me to, and brought Chris on board to be sort of my right-hand man or the leader of our athletics, uh, you know, we had three sports, six teams, and 60 student athletes. Fast forward 10 years, we're at 15 sports, 450 athletes, 60 coaching assistants. The thing has just grown, and the good Lord's blessed us to allow it to grow. But key, uh, Chris analyzed everything and felt that he needed to devote 100% of his attention to the athletic director's job, and obviously I support that 100%. This was Chris's decision. He came to me. I support that. Um, you know, Chris, his passion for UNOH, its sports, what we've built together along with everyone else is pretty amazing. One thing I won't miss, though, is this. Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> At a game. You know, I've sat up there and watched him lose his temper. And do, Caleb's going to be a lot calmer, I believe. <laughs> I had to give him a hard time. But his dedication to the sport, what he's done with his career, um, part of the UNOH family has helped me build this thing. I thank you for that. And now you're in an administrative role, and, and we'll build it. Uh, we'll continue to build on our success. Caleb. Uh, in the interview process, this young man um, is going to take us to new heights. I believe that. His commitment, his work ethic, um, I couldn't be any prouder to have this young man as part of the UNOH family, along with my other dedicated coaches. But uh, your success will definitely, whether you rim it off the side or whatever in the future, it'll all be good. Um, just like Brewster taking over the female program a couple years ago, You've got four years to get, to get yours on solid footing, not that you're, you're getting handed a lot of good talent. Uh, but what I love, one thing about the interview process, and then I'll close this out, was Caleb talked about Northwest Ohio and recruiting in Ohio. And I always push, push my coaches, I want Northwest Ohio local talent on our teams. And I know that's one of his priorities. So uh, I look forward to what he's gonna do in the future. Um, I want to thank Chris again for everything for the 10 years. The other thing I got to mention is there's one, it really wasn't a promise, but it was something that I wanted to do for Chris before his career ended. He even brought it up earlier, is a new gym. Uh, that didn't happen, but uh, there's a strong possibility that it happened during Caleb's tenure here. Uh, we're working on that. And maybe Chris can come back as an honorary coach and coach in the in the new gym since that was such a big thing with him. But anyway, thank you for coming out today. God bless y'all and have a great day. Thank all of you for coming today. Uh, Dr. Jarvis, Chris Adams, and Caleb Williams are now available for one-on-one -on -one interviews. Thank you so much.